any other topic we need to hit on? Anything breaking nope. on Twitter or anything? No, I don't see any breaking news. So I think uh, I think we should be Von good. Miller has coronavirus. Get out of here! Is that is that recent? Yep. That that just broke. Yep. Okay, hold on. Let me. <laughs> we might that, need to. That Jay Glazer is bigger news than anything you got. Because Von Miller is a dude. Von Miller has coronavirus. You think what, I made that up? No, I'm just like I'm. I'm surprised that it broke right while we were doing the show. Uh, now, normally you and I don't pay attention to this, but wow. Okay, so Von Miller it, did did Jay Glazer break it? No, Ian Rappaport. Ian Rappaport, NFL star, 41 minutes ago, NFL star and Super Bowl 50 MVP Von Miller has a confirmed case of COVID-19. His agent, uh, Joby Branion of Vanguard SG, tells me. The Broncos stars at home resting and in good spirits. He plans to speak publicly tomorrow. Interesting. Okay, okay. Um, now, I, I would imagine that he's probably, like, these guys, <laughs> Michael jumped in on, on Twitch and said, give him some smelling salts. <laughs> I don't, don't know if that's going to help that. I mean, listen, I am not a doctor. I played one at one time in life, but that was it. I, I'm not I'm not a doctor. I don't I don't pretend to know, but I'm pretty sure smelling salts doesn't cure coronavirus. I, w- I would guess not. But if it does, my gosh, there will be a rush on them, and hopefully somebody's got some stock in that. But good lord, that's uh that's it. That's that's a lot bigger news than uh, than that's Brian. A lot Allen. bigger news. And yeah. we didn't need anybody to tease it. We just looked down. Yeah, it found just it, it just happened. And, and had it. There you go. That's, didn't uh, need twenty four hours of waiting to find some player I didn't know existed in the NFL had this thing that you know five hundred thousand people across the world have. Congratulations. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, you're a person, and you caught one of the most contagious things going around right now. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm looking. There's nothing else that uh, that broke while we were doing this. I mean, that's that's the crazy thing about no, doing a live it. show. That's good. That's big. That's, that's pretty big. Well, that's big. That's big. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Uh, Von Miller has coronavirus. That's in, and there's no other. That's how you details. break news, Jay Glazer. Yeah, you need to go talk to Ian Rappaport. That's what's two up. two rookies here taking your job. You know, Rap was a um, Rap was an Alabama beat writer for a long time. Or not a long time, but a, a few years there, and then he he took an NFL beat writing job, and it just became this massive star. He had like a hundred thousand followers on Twitter, and now because of what he's turned into, he's got like two point two million or some crap. I mean, it's it's insane. He's really good at what he does. Oh, he's he's really good at what he does. Oh my god, I, I was so pissed when uh, when Alabama lost him as their beat writer because I mean he was just so good at his job. He always had the information before anybody else. I mean, it was just crazy. Uh, Rappaport, yeah, 2.2 million followers on Twitter. I mean, that's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, let's see. The Broncos are aware of the situation surrounding Von Miller. Obviously, all best wishes are with Miller at this time. Um, see, but that, that's the thing about this coronavirus thing. Um, like, some guys, it's it, it's going to be nothing. Because they, Von, you're not going to find somebody that's more healthy than Von Miller. You know? Okay. Like he, he takes care of himself, so like he's gonna beat this and it's not gonna be a problem. But we don't have we don't know that. We don't know that. Okay, that's true. We don't we don't know it, but eh, I don't know. The, the way I that this thing is gonna been going. be okay because he's in a demographic that statistically he's okay, but we know that statistics are often wrong. Somebody is the you know, the the thing that you know that, that breaks the rule. I wonder how long he's had this and if he just decided to come forward with it because because they announced last night that Brian Miller had it. I wonder if it, like maybe it's and obviously we just found out about this so I'm I'm trying to gather my thoughts on it but maybe he didn't want to be the first person in the NFL to have it. But he wasn't. It, Sean Sean Payton was. So. But we I'm talking about first NFL player to oh, have. Okay. It. He didn't want to All be right. the first player so we're to back have to it. semantics. We're we're making yeah. this thing smaller, but he's now he's the first Bronco, yeah, so yes. he's the first good player. He's the first defensive player or player that anybody knows. <laughs> he's the first. So good like, <laughs> like we're just gonna keep ah. recategorizing things until you fit in this circle where we want you to fit. Oh, hey, so so Michael, obviously our our Denver Broncos uh, uh, expert here, he said I'm sure Vaughn will be good. 
He was training in San Francisco, though. Terrible place to avoid the Rona. I didn't realize he was training in San Francisco. That's that's probably not where you want to be training uh, while smart. this is going on. It's not smart. No, not not at all. Uh, there's a ton of international I, I travel. I believe in California. Listen, all these rich NFL folks, listen, there's, there's good land in Mississippi, and they oh, have yeah. a whole lot of people here. Yeah, it's, it's better to train down here, obviously. I, I, we'll, we'll go and throw yeah. that out there. I, go I'm find the mountains of Smokies. I mean, you can find – listen, there yeah. are nice places across this country where there aren't just millions of people on top of one another. That's it. Man, so it, it, this is way off topic. Uh, I saw this video today of like a San Francisco cable car from 1905 or whatever it was, and, and it was the most insane crap I've ever seen in my life, right? So I, I retweeted the video, and I tagged uh, the San Francisco – cable car museum in it because that we went and saw that last summer when we went out to San Francisco and I said you know I never saw this but we visited the cable car museum and it was fascinating and whatnot and you know they responded and then I got a whole bunch of people responding to it about this but uh but San Francisco man like every time I go out it is there are I, I can go blocks I can go miles without hearing anybody talk uh, in English, like it is the craziest thing I've ever experienced in my life, and I know that San Francisco has like uh, on the flight there, there were guys coming from all over creation, like just just my flight out there, it was guys from Atlanta, it was guys from New York, it was guys, I mean they were connecting through uh, Charlotte and they were connecting through Denver and they were connecting through Dallas and all these different you know connecting flights. San Francisco is a hotbed for international travel. Like it's it's almost yeah, the it's same a as New major York city in the world. It's insane. Did you not realize that? No, I had no idea. <laughs> I had no clue. I mean, I knew it was like I I knew there were a lot of people coming in there. Uh, I just didn't know that. I didn't know the details. Does that make sense? I know it's absurd. I know I should have done my research. But when we went out there you last know, summer, I, listen, you don't you don't have to do research. It's it's one of like the 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 seven. Six, five biggest cities in the country. It, it's only 49 square miles wide. Like, it's that's it. Okay. It's seven by seven. Do you know how like, big New York City is? I, it's I bet smaller, it's smaller than that. Than that. Yeah, I'd, I'd guarantee it. I'd guarantee it. So, but it's, but San Francisco is, I mean, basically an island for the most part. I understand it's connected, but like, you know, it's got all these bodies uh, of water around it and whatnot. I mean, it's, yeah. Either way, uh, Michael said, you can't, you couldn't pay me to go to San Francisco. Great place, but it's been ruined. Um, I don't know, man. It's still, you know, and now granted, I didn't spend the entire time in San Francisco. Uh, we spent a couple of days in San Fran. We went to Santa Cruz. We went down to, um, Big Sur for a little while. We, I mean, we were all over the place, but yeah, I'm, I understand where you're coming from. I understand. It is what it is. All right. We, we went, we went real long again. It is what it is. I enjoyed these conversations though. God bless. I want to, I want to get us a, here's what I want, Chris. I want a team of guys and for us to just, be able to sit and, and bullshit for two hours. That's what I want every day. And just cut up the segments and put them online, and, and that be how we make our money. That's what I would like to do. I want a team. I want a video crew. I want guys that we can talk to besides just me and you. That's what I want. Hopefully, we'll get there one day. But right now, it's just me and you and this uh, shitty internet connection. So, is is what it is, right? Uh, let's see. Michael said it's the West Coast, New York. Yeah, I could, I could, I could buy that. About that. That, that kind of seems what San Francisco is. So, all right. It's 5.30. You ready to get out of here? Let's get out of here. Let's get it. out of here. All right. Von Miller has coronavirus is the last topic of the day. Uh, go to winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube, Twitch, uh, Instagram, Twitch, whatever. It, all the different places. You can find them over at winningcureseverything.com. Do us a favor. Leave us a nice review on the podcast. Leave us some comments on the YouTube, and share the show out. Tell your buddies about it. We always appreciate that. Uh, if there's nothing else, Chris, it, I'm, I'm guessing nothing else, right? We are all nope. good. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much for joining.